Okay, great to have you here. You are Stenberg, uh, CEO at Enstor Chago, and uh, Fredrik Hirn, who is uh, senior sales at Intertech. So let's start with you, Juha. Uh, why are you here? Uh, of course, the concept of a smart city is very interesting. It's, it's a global, uh, uh, let's say, ec ecosystem, and uh, there, are, there will be lots of di different op opportunities, business opportunities. Maybe we don't know today yet exactly what are the business opportunities, but it will happen, and it's up to the companies to be active in the early phase to learn about the, the, the concept and then uh, adapt their business and products and models to fit that area. What kind of collaborations are you looking for today? Of course we are interested in, uh, we see that Scandinavia is like a one market. In a global perspective it's even a small market. It's quite homogeneous market, the culture and the technology uh, is, is similar. So then uh, cooperating with companies in this region is very easy and natural for us. And would you like to tell me a little bit more about Enzo Chago? Yes, we are providing electric vehicle charging solutions. So once now as we are seeing that the electric vehicles are coming to the market, of course since they run with the electricity, you need to charge the battery. And we are providing solutions to charge the electric cars. And Frederick, what is Intertech doing here today? We are here because we are really interested to follow the development within the IoT area and smart cities is obviously one of those. And also electric vehicles, uh, which we heard from this uh, presentation before. So that's our main interest. We are uh, right now planning to build an IoT lab for indoor use. And uh, we are also in cooperation with other companies to also create an outdoor environment for testing as well in this area. And we are then talking about the radio interface, uh, the storage, the cloud, server parks, but also the application itself. So it's a full end-to-end -end, um, uh, scope, uh, considering both regulatory, obviously because that's where our heritage comes from, but also from a performance point of view. Wow, so we have a fossil-free mobility and IoT here. Is that the uh, future of smart cities? Uh, I think that's one enabler to make it happen, absolutely, uh, to have the technology in place, to see that uh, all these proof of concepts that we see on a global scale, that they can start you know, developing to be a uh, standard you know, application that everybody uses. So uh, what have you guys been talking about today? Well, we were talking about earlier about the IoT and uh, since Part of the smart applications and services and products means that all the products will be communicating. So they will be communicating maybe between each other uh, to backend systems, to end user with the mobile phone. And how this communication will actually happen in, in the future. Will it be the, the mobile networks maybe? Will it be the VLAN or will it be the new uh, technologies that this communication is happening? And uh, do you think you guys will collaborate from after today? Uh, who knows, we just had a discussion on that subject, so... Perfect. Thank you, Frederick, and thank you, Juha. Okay. Pleasure having you here.